Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this is Dave Hayes and I'm back with another review for the Nexus 6. Uh, this time we were going to go over Twisted OS. Uh, I actually haven't done a review on this one in quite some time. Um, and they are actually running Nougat now and this is 7.1.1 and I am running the uh, uh, I'm running the uh, Pixel Launcher. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, again guys, uh, the reason I'm doing it for the Nexus 6 and not the 6P uh, is because I do not have my uh, mic yet and my mic is only working on uh, my 6 and not my 6P right now. So um, as soon as I get my mic and I do have it ordered, uh, I will be doing uh, reviews right on the 6P so you guys can see uh, how it looks on that device as well. Um, also, before I get started, uh, I wanted to uh, congratulate uh, Android Bakery. Uh, he is one of uh, one of my subs uh, subscribers, uh, just like you guys. Oh, excuse me. Um, and over the Christmas shutdown, actually it was Christmas Day. Um, excuse me again, man. Uh, I decided to uh, really, or I decided to give away um, that device that I did a review on, which was that uh, computer lock. And uh, I thought, to be fair, the way I would do it is. Uh, Anybody that posted, uh, anybody that made a post on that video, I took their names, put them in a hat, and I drew from it. Um, actually, there was uh, somebody else who won. I don't want to say what that person's name was. Um, and I got a hold of him, and he didn't want the device. So uh, I got a hold of the second because I drew uh, five people out of there. I actually drew them all. There wasn't that many people. And, um, and I drew them in order. Uh, so he didn't want it, and then I went right to the next person, which was uh, Android Bakery. Uh, he, uh, he did want it, so, got, uh, so uh, Android Bakery, congratulations, buddy. Um, it was mailed out this morning, so you should get that uh, in a couple of days. All right, let's get back to Twisted. Uh, again, this is for the uh, Nexus 6 uh, Android version 7.1.1. That's got the latest security updates. Uh, I'm running Singularity Kernel on this, uh, and the kernel is running great. Uh, Singularity is another one of those kernels uh, that are, it, it's just an outstanding kernel. If you guys haven't uh, tried it, you need to try it. It's, uh, it's a really good kernel. Uh, Blackbird is still my favorite, um, but I do like Singularity. Uh, it, it does give you a lot of options to choose from. Um, so, you know, kudos to them for that. Uh, and I am going to start doing some more um, videos with different kernels in it, okay? Um, the custom settings on this are kind of screwed up, so you just kind of have to, uh, to go with it. Uh, I'm just going to go down the list uh, under display. Uh, display settings are pretty much going to be the same uh, as all the other uh, you know, ROMs out there. Um, you do have your brightness level, your night light, uh, all of that. Uh, this is going to be where you go uh, to get that done at. Um, notifications, uh, if you go there, that's just going to be, uh, you can pick and choose how you want your notifications to show on, an, per, on a per app basis. Uh, sound settings, um, again, pretty standard uh, as far as your sound settings go. Um, under other sounds, these are the, uh, where you can turn off uh, or toggle on or toggle off uh, any of the sound settings that you want or don't want. Um, Let's see, app storage, battery, memory. I'm trying to think where, because uh, the custom settings are like clean down at the bottom, I think. Uh, uh, security, uh, basically security settings on this are going to be uh, just like the rest of the settings uh, on any of the other devices. Uh, you can encrypt your device if you like. Uh, you have your unknown sources. Make sure you guys have that turned on. Uh, screen pinnings all the way at the bottom. Uh, you do have your accounts, uh, language and input. Uh, developer options. Um, I can go through the developer options because I'm running this as my primary and that's going to, uh, that I, I can access it on my primary. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm running the, uh, the unofficial update um, for the Nexus 6 for multi-ROM uh, and the only flaw it has is you can't access your developer options under, uh, if you have them on a secondary. As long as it's a primary, you can, but secondaries, you can't. So uh, these are your, um, your developer options. Uh, you do have the uh, OEM unlock. Guys, uh, you can actually turn that off. I highly recommend you do not touch that. Leave it on. Um, that way you don't uh, get yourself into trouble. I've heard horror stories about uh, people not having that turned on. Uh, your uh, Android debugging, make sure you have that on. Uh, that's going to save your ass if you happen to hit a wall 
Um, you know, when I say hit a wall, I mean run into some problems, flash in the ROM or whatever. Uh, you have your uh, ADB debugging turned on. You can push files to your, uh, you know, uh, to your device uh, through ADB. Uh, nothing really under or out of the ordinary on this. Uh, may, uh, I do highly recommend that you run your Windows animation, transition animation, and your animator duration scale uh, to half. Um, they, I think it comes set up at 0.75. Uh, I recommend uh, 0.5. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, and again, the uh, custom settings are all the way at the bottom. It's called Twisted Core. Uh, if we go into that, that's going to give us... If it, there we go. Uh, first up is going to be the change log. Uh, this is going to show you uh, what kind of changes they did. Um, you know, and yeah, there you go. Uh, a lot of ROMs don't do this. I really like this. I like the fact that I can actually uh, just open up my phone and see all of the changes that were made right on my device, which I think that's a pretty cool option to have. Uh, under the display options, uh, you have your expanded desktop, your scrolling cache, your brightness control, kill app back button, and your double tap to wake uh, on does. Uh, let's see, status bar. Uh, this is going to be uh, your clock, your battery, all that. Uh, first up is your, net or your network traffic. Uh, you guys can have that uh, on, off. Uh, you can have it with incoming, outgoing. Um, you know, do with it what you want. Uh, again, I kind of wish they would give you the option to color that. Uh, there's nothing I hate worse on a phone than white in my status bar. I hate that. But, you know, it's nougat, and that's what we're getting, guys. So, um, next up is going to be your battery. Uh, if you guys want to run with a battery, uh, like I am, I'm, I'm running with mine in the uh, portrait mode. If you guys want to run with it, these are going to be options for that. I really wish they'd, uh, they'd bring back that, back that little Android uh, icon that they had. Uh, they do give you the battery percentage. You can run it outside, inside the battery, or not at all. Uh, and then you, you have the uh, charging symbol near percentage text if you want to have that. That means whenever you plug your phone in, uh, it'll show a little lightning bolt or, or whatever you choose. And I think it has flash or, ti or uh, tiled, whatever tiled is. Um, let's see. Uh, next up is going to be show battery, uh, Bluetooth battery status while you're charging. Uh, basically what it does is it shows you the uh, battery uh, status of the uh, device that you're uh, actually running Bluetooth. Um, show notification count, double tap to sleep, double tap to sleep anywhere. Uh, next up is going to be your volume rocker. Uh, this is going to be where you can set up your volume rockers to pretty much do anything you want. Um, if you're in, say, uh, if you're into music and stuff like that, that's going to be where you do that at. Uh, power menu is going to be next. Um, they do have quite a few options, not like as many as OctoS or say 6. I think 6 has a, a couple more uh, options uh, you know, than this, but definitely enough options here to get you where you want to go, uh, especially for me. I like my power menu options. Next up is going to be the nav bar settings. Um, and I'm not sure if this one has the... Yes, it does. Fling settings. Um, OctoS doesn't come with the fling settings. This one does. Uh, I like fling settings. It allows you to do what, uh, whatever you want to do with your, um, you know, with your uh, uh, recents button, your back button, and all that. Um, I will show you the fling settings. We'll go into that real quick. Uh, go underneath the fling settings here. As soon as it opens. Um, I'm having a, a devil of a time recording. Uh, for some reason, Nougat ROMs, when I'm running a screen record, really has a lot of lag in it. It's not the ROM, it is the screen recording uh, app that I'm using. Um, these are your settings for Fling. Uh, again, guys, you know me, I don't use Fling very much, but I figured I'd run through let you guys see it. Quite a few different settings that you have for it. If you guys are into Fling, uh, these are the settings that you have. Um, I myself basically like uh <laughs> here we go <laughs> uh i like uh standard settings settings there we go twisted core let me go back into it again and i was under nav bar and i want to go ahead and change this back to smart bar there we go now these are your smart bar settings Again, as soon as it loads, uh, you do have your toggle button editor, and this is going to be where you can change what your 
uh, what your back what your back button and your you know your recents button does just by simply long pressing you get uh, you get this that comes up pick actions uh, choose what action you want uh, long press is what I'm going to do because what I'm going to do is set this up for um, and uh, custom action I'm going to set this up for I'll show you guys here real quick I can't think and talk <laughs> uh, split screen uh, as soon as I find it here right there split screen now uh, when I long press that I'll get the uh, multi window or they call it split screen uh, now if I long press it again go to actions uh, double tap select custom action uh, I'm gonna go to uh, last app uh, what that's gonna do is if I double tap it it's gonna uh, set it up so it, I can choose back and forth between the last two apps that I'm running which is another cool option to do uh, but then again guys this is how you do that then once you're done you hit that X button and everything is saved uh, you can actually save it you can call it something I'm gonna call this mine one click OK and it's saved you can actually create quite a few profiles and switch between them if you want uh, you have your uh, context button layout position uh, input method actions uh, and then of course your uh, but your uh, button touch animations which uh, it's on ripple right now um, I usually like to have it on flip so now if I hit the back button watch what it does it'll flip which is pretty cool I like that uh, it does come with pulse and uh, these are your settings for pulse and I don't know why this is grayed out underneath here it, it seems like some apps have them on some apps or some ROMs have it on some ROMs don't uh, but it does come with pulse I do have it set on and pulse is working so if I have YouTube playing uh, in the portrait mode uh, the bottom of my screen will have that uh, that green colored um, a little equalizer like Sean so that that's pretty cool I like that feature uh, let's see next up is going to be the uh, quick tile settings um, again you have your quick pull down your brightness icon your uh, quick settings tile icons uh, and then of course you have your rows uh, and your columns um, the first up which I like this feature they actually give you the option to pick how many uh, how many you want in your whoops how many you want in your uh, first row whenever you give it a short pull uh, I have mine set up for six you can set that up for however many you like now uh, then you have your column settings and then you have your row settings don't go any more than five on your rows you're just gonna lose them guys I've shown it in the other videos um, whenever you pull this down uh, if you go right now uh, my fifth row is right above my recents if I go six rows they're gonna be under that and I know before marshmallow all you had to do is pull up but notice as I'm pulling up they disappear you will never access them so guys don't go more than five rows all right or five on your rows uh, next up is going to be the lock screen items uh, they do give you the lock screen clock font you can pick and choose what kind of font you want uh, I'm going with robo light right now just to default uh, then you have your lock screen clock date and your alarm text uh, and then lock screen charge info and guys that is pretty much <coughs> excuse me uh, that is pretty much twisted OS don't do this to me <laughs> go home <laughs> there we go flip go home uh, I'm telling you uh, and it's not the ROM guys it is my uh, it's it's this app I use and I don't know if it's just the app or if it's all screen recording but I'm having a double of time doing screen records and knew it so guys that was twisted ROMs uh, again, this is another one of those ROMs I've been running since about Christmas uh, or before actually I've been running this ROM for uh, a couple of days ever since I loaded Octo S. It is a nice ROM. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it running. I am running again with the um, uh, with the Pixel Launcher. Uh, everything seems to be working good. Uh, I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. Uh, if you guys like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers and I will see you guys on the next one.